I'm Tony Sycamore, Senior Market Analyst at IG in Australia. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ snapped six-session winning streaks on Friday, with traders booking profits and moving to the sidelines ahead of another busy week of economic data and, of course, corporate earnings. Both this week's key economic events, which are the January FOMC meeting and non-farm payrolls data, have the ability to see the rates market pull forward or push back the expected timing of the Fed's first rate cut. At this point of time, we're currently seeing the first full rate cut price for May. Looking at what's expected from the FOMC meeting, well, the Fed is expected to keep its Fed's fund rate unchanged at five and a quarter to five and a half percent. However, it will likely open the door to future rate cuts by a change in its forward guidance. Now, this can be done by removing its out-of-date tightening bias that says the extent of any additional policy firming can be replaced with a neutral, a more neutral statement. Let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see where they are as we start this new week. This correction through to the October low did see the rebound to new highs that we were looking for. This to me is a wave five. You can see the wave three, the wave four, the wave five. And the wave five is the generally seen or always seen at the end of the move. The question is, where does the wave five stop? And at this point of time, we're still looking for confirmation. We do have some preliminary insights. Firstly, this bearish divergence by the RSI indicator. You can see that it's not ticking higher, even though price has made a new high. On Friday night, this little red candle here is what we call a loss of momentum candle. It's similar to this candle here. It doesn't guarantee a reversal, but what it does suggest is that we're losing upside momentum. And generally, that needs to occur before a pullback develops. In terms of the pullback, we're looking for a pullback of around 5 to 10% in the coming weeks. So this isn't a sell signal that we're talking about. It's just the fact that we are looking for a pullback at the very, very least. We don't really want to rip uh, fight this rip higher. We do need to be mindful that January has been a strong month for stocks. The NASDAQ up around 3.5%. Let's take a look at that NASDAQ chart on the weekly. Now, again, we're looking for a wave five high here. This isn't confirmed as yet, but we can see that the weekly candle also created some loss of momentum uh, for the NASDAQ. So this is what we call a loss of momentum candle. Again, it generally precedes a pullback. It needs to occur before a pullback occurs. And in terms of how far we think the pullback could come, well, somewhere in the order of 5 to 10% would be about what we're looking for. So the daily chart doesn't give us too many more insights other than what we can see here. But at this point of time, it does appear that we're starting to lose a little bit of momentum. Of course, we do have quarter four earnings, which uh, include some of the big ones, Apple and Microsoft. So this technical setup can change quite dramatically. And of course, we've got the FOMC meeting, which we touched on. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead. 